Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Imashri. In today's video, I am going to show you how to set drop down default value to blank. For example, if there is a drop down control in my power app screen, whenever the user select a blank value, my data table should filter and display me the all the records. L or else. Or else, if the user select different value, then the data table dynamically display the relevant records. Let me show you how to achieve this in a new screen. This is my new screen. For this, I am using a SharePoint list as user details. This is my SharePoint list as user details which has various columns like client ID, gender, subscription type and Netflix joined it. Let me use this as my data source. On my Power Apps data, you can see that I have connected my uh, SharePoint list as my data source. Now, now, let me create a Power Apps collection on the Apps on Start property. On the App on Start property. Uh, now, we will create a collection like uh, Clear Collect. Like whenever the user select a blank value, uh, we need uh, all data from the SharePoint list. Call default blank. Value is to blank collect again call default blank comma choices or we need a choices from SharePoint list. This is my SharePoint list. Point list name dot subscription. My column name subscription. Subscription type. Okay. Let me close the syntax. Let me run the on start property. Run on start. Now on my Power Apps screen, I will insert drop down control. Now I will allow my empty selection as true. Now items property as. I will set my items property as. My collection name dot value call default blank dot value. Always save your app, save and publish your app. Publish this version. I'll preview my app now. See now, my drop down values are added from my SharePoint list choice column. Now, we will insert a data table to display my data. Now for my data table, I will set its items property as if uh, first I will change my drop down control name, change my drop down control name as I'll rename it to DRP subscription subscription subscription. Okay. Now in items property of data table, if My drop down name, BRP 
subscription dot selected dot value equals to blank display my SharePoint list all record so user details SharePoint list name else filter user details comma my SharePoint list column name subscription type dot value equals to drp my drop down name dot selected dot value I'll close it but my data tables is not visible for that click on edit fields I'll add field as title, gender, subscri subscription type, Netflix, join date. Click on add button now. We are facing an error here for that. Let me check what is that error. This item dot gender. It is my choice column, so I'll add it as dot value. Subscription type is also same. Dot value. Now we can see that our data table is displaying the title column as title only. So we can rename the title as client ID. Select the title like client ID. See. I mean, I'll provide the border. Now, I'll. Now, let's check it's working or not. I'll save and publish my app. It's saving. Now preview the app. I'll select the blank value. So it is playing all my records. Now if I say yeah, displaying all my records, if I select different values, it is displaying based on the value records of it. In Power Apps, this is how we can set drop down default value to black. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get free video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI. Thank you.